Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to a special Pacific Classic edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. The Million Dollar Pacific Classic is Saturday afternoon, and I can't wait. We've got the three big runners on the West Coast and three of the best handicap horses in the game right now ready to square off. We've got California Chrome, we've got Dortmund, and we've got the Star Mare Beholder. Where do I start? Well, let's start with the rail. California Chrome, who likes to be outside his rivals, drew the one post on the Tuesday afternoon draw. Should make things interesting. Both times he's drawn the rail, he's finished out of the money. The last time you can remember back to the end of his three-year-old campaign at Parks in the Pennsylvania Derby, he really disliked the rail. Obviously, that's a long time ago, but California Chrome will have to do a real running to win this year's Pacific Classic as Art Sherman and Victor Espinosa look to get their first wins in the big event. California Chrome was special all year, including the big win at Dubai in the World Cup, and then last time in the thrilling stretch drive, holding off Dortmund by a half length. It was a great race. I expect California Chrome to put forth another big one, but he's going to have to have his running shoes on in this one from the rail. However, the mile and a quarter seems to suit him well. He'll be very tough to beat. It'll be interesting to see the tactics that Victor Espinosa and Art Sherman deploy for this big one. All right, then you have Dortmund, the 5-2 the two morning line second choice set by Russell Hudak, the morning line maker at Del Mar. Dortmund draws 8-hole. Wonderful draw for Jor Dortmund. Rafael Bayarano will ride this time. He gets a great spot. He'll probably send, but he does will have his options from the outside draw. Dortmund making the second start of his 40-year-old campaign. If you follow my work, you know I'm a big fan of expecting monster efforts in that second start of the 4-year-old year. It generally presumes it generally produces career best efforts or close there to it. I would not suspect Dortmund to do anything but run his best. The mile and a quarter, a little bit of a question mark in this one, but he draws outside after drawing inside of California Chrome. He draws outside both of his main rivals and all the speeds to the inside. He should be set for a big one. Rafael Bayarano could be a difference maker, a better finisher than Gary Stevens at this point in his career. Dortmund 5 to 2 on the morning line. And then you have the star mare beholder, trainer Richard Mandela, last week deciding it's go time in the Pacific Classic as the plan had been all year, despite losing to Stellar Wind in the Clementel Hirsch when Gary Stevens was outridden to the wire by Victor Espinoza. Beholder draws the seven hole, the three to one third choice on the morning line as she looks to repeat as Pacific Classic champion. This field, though, much tougher than last year's when she defeated the likes of Catch a Flight and Runner in this year's field as well. Imperative. I don't know. Beholder, to me, will have to step forward quite a bit from her three performances this year, but it's hard to imagine that trainer Richard Mandela would be putting her against the big boys Dortmund and California Chrome if he did not expect a strong effort. It will be interesting to see how Beholder performs in her six-year-old campaign here in the Million Dollar event. Outside of the top three, it's hard to pick one that can beat all three of them, but opportunity was made 8-1 to one on the morning line, the fourth choice. He should sit a great trip. He gets the services of rider Flavian Pratt. I think he could be coming late. If any of the top three falter, he could pick up the pieces. It'll be key to see how the track is playing over the next few days. If it's speed favoring, I could easily see the way these jockeys are going to ride for it to be that one, two, three to the wire with Dortmund, California, Chrome, and Beholder in whatever order it comes in. But if the track is fair and they go at it up front, Opportunity is one that could pick up the pieces and could be worth using underneath in the exotics. Then you have hard aces and win the space. Both of them will have to run career best efforts to get things done. And then you have Dalmore, who's going to take on the big boys for the first time for trainer Keith DeSormo. Dalmore, who beat the likes of Danzig Candy last out, will have to step up his game quite a bit, but has been improving steadily and could be a wild card to pick up the pieces if maybe Opportunity and Hard Aces do not do so. I don't know, though. It's a tough spot for Dalmore and also a tough spot for War Story in his first start in California, totally up against it. And finally, you have Imperative, who usually runs his race a very honest horse, 
but up against it, does not seem to win, and I don't know if he can compete with the big boys. So there you have it. Tough race to bet on. If you like one of the top three, you should get a square price on any of them. Personally, I'm going to sit back and enjoy. I'll probably come up with a few small wagers, but overall, this is one to watch. This is one that could be for the ages and the, perhaps the best Pacific Classic to date. Enjoy it. Enjoy the whole entire day of racing. Some nice races on the undercard. Big weekend of racing out here in Southern California. Let's do it.